everyone and uh, welcome to the Kami Janet podcast here on YouTube. Um, my name is Camilla and uh, today it is Friday the March 5th or the 5th of March or however do you say that. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in Denmark. You can totally tell that spring has finally arrived and the flowers are peeking up from the ground and kind of makes me feel like we have better times ahead, so let's all hope for that. Um, yeah, today's episode 20, so that's, a, I guess, a bit of an anniversary for the podcast. So I did the first episode, I think, in June last year. So before you know it, we have uh, I have been here for a whole year. Um, today I have one finished object to share with you. The Micella sweater is finally done. You have probably seen it on Instagram, and if you don't follow me there, I can show you today how it's uh, how it turned out, and I'm pretty happy about that. And then I have loads of whips, all kinds of different stuff on my needles, as always. Um, I think the the micella sweater was like a, something I really wanted to get done, so I could could you know work on the pattern and get that out there. And kind of set me free to develop new things and also just knit for fun. Um, I love knitting the Marcella sweater. I love the yarn. I love how it turned out. But it has just been... Uh, there were steps along the way that was not that fun. Um, but that's just... Uh, yeah. Sometimes the design process is more complicated than other times. So I guess that's all there is to say about that. But let's start with that. Um, I also have a shop update. I just got loads of new project bag and I'm beyond excited to show you and share and uh, give you a peek of what is to be in this shop later on. I think I will actually have this shop update later today, this Friday. So when you're watching this, it might already be out or if not, it will be just very close. <laughs> um, but let me start with the Micella sweater. Um, this is how it turned out and uh, my oldest daughter Nomi has been wearing it a few times she really likes it it's um, it this is going to be a more tight fitting design so not negative ease but absolutely not a lot of positive ease at all like not even an inch so I think for this pattern usually I'll have a somewhat a, not a lot of positive ease, but still on the positive side always. So I think for this design, I'm just going to write that choose the size according to the finished bust circumference that you want and not the size that you would usually buy. So if you don't want it to be tight fitting, don't buy the normal, the size that you usually wear. The good thing is that I think I have this sizing up to a uh, four... XL, I'm not sure. And also we have to do something about that sizing because one small, medium, large, and then extra large, extra, 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 extra. We have to do something else because if you're knitting like a XXXL, it's just too confusing with all the X's on the last sizes. So I th I'm gonna, I think we really need to change that. Maybe just give them numbers or something. Have you seen uh, if you have a good idea about sizing and how to do that in a different way, please let me know because uh, that system has to change and I'm just not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. But anyway, this is the Marcella sweater. It has been, uh, uh, I have included a talk about the Marcella sweater for every episode, I think, of the podcast since September last year or something like that. So I won't be bothering you anymore. The yarn is amazing. Let me show you some skeins that hasn't been caked up yet. So what I have used is, look at my nails. Ew. So what I have used is Fruvelbo's Silky Yak Singles. And the um, main color is this dusty pink which has a almost like a lavender 
not lavender because it's not purple but can you tell it's, it has like a touch of something purplish and then the the camel no the caramel not camel it's caramel so it's caramel and dusty pink and these two colors together are just amazing the um, when i took pictures of nomi the other day on instagram i think i'll put a picture here so you can just see how it looks on a person uh, i thought it was so funny that her hair it's a little her hair is a little darker than mine because i'll bleach mine a little bit but um her hair just kind of turned out exactly as this the same color as the caramel yarn so i have actually worked the pattern i just need to do some you know final editing on that and i have to write uh, what to do for the sleeves because you have to block this pretty aggressively on the fair isle part because um, when you knit fair isle or some of us at least um, but when i change from knitting fair isle and knitting with two colors um, and then going from knitting with two colors to just knitting with one or the main color what happens is because you don't have that other yarn in the back um, that kind of pulls everything together then when you change and knit with only one color because there's not that extra tightness in the back because you have the yarn running on the back all the time it kind of feels like it's loosened or looser so when i hold the sweater up before i washed and blocked it it kind of looked like this and um, don't worry about that too much when you wash it you just kind of even that whole thing out stretch the bottom part a little bit and stretch the top part a little bit the other way and that's what i did with this and it's fine so or you can do a swatch before you start knitting the sweater take your gauge on the fair isle part and then take your gauge on the with only one color and maybe just adjust adjust your needle size that's an option um, either way whatever works for you and however experienced you are you know that this can actually block pretty much so don't be too much too concerned about that um yeah this is how it turned out and i am thrilled about it um if you're interested in testing um join my group on revelry because i will announce it there when the uh when it is ready for testing um i a lot of the danish testers just sent me an email and that is fine as well you can do that but if you are a user on revelry and you want to test that is the easiest way i think to get in touch or at least to get updated on when the uh, pattern is ready for testing I ran out of milk so instead of milk I had a, like a touch of cream with a lot of water and it's just not the same thing I should have went to the store and got some milk but I didn't so this is my only finished object my Marcella sweater but I feel so good to have this done it has been such a long journey and you know this is there's a saying you know the the best comes to for those who wait so i guess it has definitely been worth the wait um the next thing that i'm gonna show you is the big bubble sweater i'm knitting this for esther and i'm knitting in a size small and she wanted it kind of cropped so it's really not that long and um you don't do any decreases on the sleeves you just knit them with no decreasing and then at the end you do kind of work a few rounds of increases before you do the ribbing and then when you wash it you can kind of pull this out a little bit and make a somewhat of a balloon effect if you like but uh yeah i did this part of the sleeve watching half a movie last night so you know it takes like no time you can knit this sweater in a 
in a few days at least if you knit a small like i do and i showed you the fun thing is that she is she is actually on the front of the pattern um even though that's not her that's not her sweater she didn't get she didn't get to keep that sweater so she wanted one for herself so yeah i'm almost there and uh i'm knitting in one skein of Eskimo from Drops, which is a cheaper yarn, and one skein of Tilia from Filikulena. Um, I am sure you can get, this is a one ply wool yarn, so I'm, I'm sure you can buy uh, this type of yarn anywhere. And the same with the silk mohair. So knock yourself out <laughs> with that. Um, then I am working on the Anna bubble cardigan. I have showed that before. I have sent, um, I think, three cardigans to my friend whose uh, baby girl is named Anna. I named the cardigan for her. And um, the pattern is done. The pattern has been... Um, written in Danish. I have just translated the pattern and I have sent it to some of my English speaking testers. It has been tested in Danish, so I know the math is okay. There's a little bit with the sizing that I need to readjust and I just had some feedback from another tester yesterday, so I need to uh, adjust some smaller things. And then uh, it will be out. So if you are interested in testing this in English I have a group right now on Ravelry for uh, calling for uh, testers for the Anna bubble cardigan so please let me know if you are interested I have a shorter deadline for this but um, it really doesn't take that long I think that I said it needs to be done by March 12th we can talk about that so if you're interested just let me know and we can work it out. Let me know what would be um, a deadline that would be a, you would be able to um, keep. <laughs> so if you need a few more days, that's fine. But if you are interested in testing that cardigan, please let me know. It's in DK weight, so it really doesn't take that long. Of course, if you knit the three years, that might take more than just a few days. But at least if you're knitting the smaller sizes, it really doesn't take that long. And I don't necessarily need a tester for every size. I just need a few English speaking testers to look it through and see if, you know, since I'm not a native English speaker and I can't afford to have everything translated by um, professionals, it's just too expensive for me. So this is the progress that I have made on the Anna Bubble cardigan in yarn from Suslerie that I showed you the last time. Um, it was I meant to change my nail polish before podcasting and I just realized that I forgot and now looking at these nails I feel so embarrassed because they really need a makeover so I'm trying to hide my nails when I show you these projects and it's a little hard but this <laughs> this is a new thing um, how to hold your yarn when not wanting to show your cracked, disgusting nail polish. Any hues. This is the yarn from Suslerie. That's the Merino DK in the colorway. New look. I showed you this last time. And uh, I'm writing... No, I'm not writing. I'm knitting uh, the Anna bubble cardigan in a size newborn. Because I did the math and I have enough yarn for both the newborn and... A six months or nine months I, I can't remember which one um, so I'm gonna do two so we can have this on the cover and I have a very cute baby coming up so that might get her to can ask her mom if she could model this for me so we have a baby on the front um, I'm very happy about this uh, Anna bubble cardigan I think it's so cute and I just love to knit something for the babies in a little thicker yarn so it's not because people say well knitting for a baby is just fast knitting no it's not fast knitting because it's always tiny needles and very thin yarn 
so knitting a baby bubble cardigan for a baby is like almost the same thing as knitting a size 2 in the DK way. So huge difference. <sighs> you see, I brought, what are these called in English? In Danish, we call them like Easter lilies. I know, I know the ways, I just forgot. I got them yesterday and they were just all looking like this. And look, just one day later and they almost look like this. This is just very Easter for me to have this kind of flower in my room. Uh, okay, so I have also started, I showed the yarn for this last time. This is the alpaca sock yarn from uh, Long Yarns. And um, Nomi actually said that she thought it would be a good idea to do like socks with bubbles. And I think she's right, but um, I don't think I'm going to do it with this yarn because um, for the bubble effect to really stand out, you need some yarn that has a kind of more, uh, that's more structured. And because alpaca sometimes is a little too soft, it won't hold the bubble as well. So I think I'm going to do a, a pattern for bubble socks, but I'm going to do it in, I think maybe a yarn like the one from Birgen Bell. Um, which has 25% uh, nylon. I think that will actually hold the bubbles better. So that's exciting. I think I'm going to experiment experiment with that a little maybe this weekend. I have no plans this weekend, so I can play around and do whatever I want with all the yarn. So for this, I think I'm going to do a sock pattern that I have actually been working on in... Um, Wrong bag. Um, I did develop this pattern or this structured. It's just pearl stitches that makes this little um, structured pattern on the sock. And I am still on the heel flap because I just. Uh, I wasn't sure exactly how to do the heel flap um, description or the write down how I did and and actually I personally like more just to knit the sock and then do the afterthought heel. So that's the reason I never finished with these socks is because I kind of never got around to doing that heel flap which is so stupid because now that I have decided this is not going to be the finished pattern. I think I'll just finish the sock and keep them for myself. But because I was going to write down exactly how I did that and I never got around to it, I'm just going to, I left it there. So now I think I'll just finish it and I'll take that structured pattern to this sock instead, work the sock, do an afterthought heel. The good thing about doing the afterthought heel is I don't have to learn. I know how to do the heel flap. I just, it's too complicated for me to write it down because I'm not that sure on how to do that and it's not my preferred way to knit a heel so i'm going to do it with the afterthought heel and then you guys can whatever kind of heel you like to do you can just do that so it's not like you can't do a heel flap if you knit um, this pattern you can do always do whatever heel you want so that kind of sets me free i don't have to worry about this heel flap anymore so I will finish this for myself and uh, I will work on a new pattern with the afterthought heel. And because I already have a tutorial for the afterthought heel, that's just way better for me. Um, yeah, and I love the yarn. It's really, um, I love that it has like a halo because of the alpaca. Um, yeah, so it really feels really good. And I think I'm knitting on a size. You know, it's a problem because it says on the needle what size it is, but I can't see it. It's so small. I think this is a size, I don't know, 2.2, .2, I guess. So 
so that is actually what I'm knitting on right now I'm really um, looking forward to getting the big bubble sweater off my needles it's such a wintry project and because it's spring outside I really want to get that off my needles and also knitting on these larger needles is just not the best for my elbow I had this I don't know what that's called in English but I had huge problems with my elbow uh, like a year ago I had like an infection that wouldn't go away and this because of I was knitting too much so I don't want to go back to that I didn't knit for four months and that almost killed me so <laughs> um, what else do I have I think I have shown you the socks that I am working on um, I haven't done any progress on no haven't done any progress on that so let's not talk too much about that so that gives me time to show you the new bags for uh, the new project bags from Bags by Hoya. And I am extremely excited. We had, I showed you the fabric a couple of episodes ago. I got all the corduroy and I got new colors. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, even better than I had hoped. Um, okay, so let me show you the new colors first. This is camel, and um, and it, the lining is like a I don't know it's, I would I think I call this a sage uh, with like small white flowers, and on the inside as well the sage, and then the pocket is the corduroy as well, and there are. It looks like one pocket, but it's actually three smaller rooms. So you can have your needles in the middle one without them falling down. I hate that. And uh, of course it has strings so you can close it. I never close mine, but if you have something and you're afraid it's going to fall out or something, you can do that. So, and I can't decide which one is my favorite. Let me know which one you like the most. Um, but um, I'm crazy about the color of the cabal and the lining I think it's just so cute I love corduroy this reminds me of my childhood and the 70s and yeah, I think that's cute okay so the other one is this uh, army this is also a new colorway sorry um, just want to make sure this so this is army and I think it's just so cute with this lining that is like a, has it's like tiny flowers of pink and blues and orange and uh, it's the same thing with this one uh, you have the pocket the corduroy pocket on the inside um, in this shop there will be a few bags that has another lining or another, uh, yeah, another color of the lining. Um, that happens if at the studio they run out of the lining and they still have the corduroy. They just use scraps of whatever is left from other projects so we don't waste too much fabric. We don't want to throw anything out. So, um, so there will be a few that has a different color and maybe that's the one you like the best and I think I will write only one if that if if you fall in love with a bag and you know there's only one maybe you shouldn't wait this is not to make you buy it because I don't want you to buy anything you don't want but just to let you know that this one there's this is one of a kind and there will only be this one this particular one I have uh, a few I don't have that many of any color I think I have six of these ones so um yeah, I'm so happy. I can't decide which one I want. I kind of think I want to keep this one. But let me show you. This is the, I call this brick red. And uh, I, I think this is such a gorgeous color. This is the one that I asked you what, what to call this color. And you'll, uh, 
were so nice to give me some really good ideas on what to call this. Um, but most of all, it reminds me of red brick dust from when you build a... Here in Denmark, we actually do use... When you build a house, it is brick all the way through. Because, I think because of the cold, I don't know. Yeah. I really love this one. So these are the three new colors. Um, this one was very popular. They uh, almost sold out the last time. I think I had one left. I had one left with, uh, what is this called? The candles, maybe? These are a more natural color and I had one left where the handles are more uh, brighter, they're more white. Uh, and then the blue ones that's already in the shop. Uh, didn't I bring one of those? Oh yeah, here we go. In this shop I had a few left with the purple. Uh, linen and I think maybe on the pictures it shows off as very bright purple it's really not at all and it has the purple inside and it has the pocket as well the current pocket mm. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it it's in here just like with the other ones and I also have one uh, with the brown is back in stock it was sold out uh, but I have had these made again with the brown linen, linen, lining, lining. So uh, those are back. Those are back in stock. So right now I have uh, five different corduroy bags. And uh, this will be the thing I do in the future. I think I will only do corduroy bags in the future. So what is in the shop now with the beach stripe and the pink bag with the golden dots I will not get new uh, so if that is the one you want they won't stand for, last forever and I won't get new ones uh, it took me a while with the bags by hire to kind of find exactly what I wanted to do in the beginning we just kind of experimented a little bit with the style and the fabrics and that has been so much fun and now I just kind of found the look I guess of how I wanted things to be and yeah so the corduroy is uh, I think is going to be uh, the thing we do in the future as well okay so the, <clears throat> the last thing I want to show you is that I also had some new uh, small project bags made this is also uh, the camel but the corduroy is um, with slimmer lines in the corduroy. We call it baby corduroy here in Denmark. And uh, you can see I have the sage in this one. I think I actually have four different kinds of um, lining in these uh, bags. So if you're going to check them out, make sure that you, you know, find pick the one with the lining you like the best. And... I had two small ones made, um, one in the camel and one in um, army. And uh, the army is not exactly the same color. So you can see this is army in the big and this is army in the small. This is slight difference in color, very slight, but you can tell this. This is a, it's like a little bit darker, but it's still like the same tone. So it's not two different greens. It's just uh, like this has a little bit more color than this one. So if you wanna have like a set with the same uh, lining, you can see these go together. So if you wanna have a set, um, then that, that will look cute together. I think, uh, yeah. 
So, that was the shop update. I um, I think that's going to be the last shop update we have on this side of the summer. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the bags actually. Um, so go check it out and see if there's anything you like. And um, I'm just looking over here because I have my wall of stitch markers. I'm just looking, did I do anything? new <laughs> did i make new stitch markers uh i did not make any new stitch markers uh i last time i podcasted i just said I, I had just added the extra small uh stitch markers for socks and um yeah i think that's i think that's the only news there is when it comes to that um I actually think that's it for this time. I don't think I have any more to show that I haven't showed before. I think, um, yeah, I was just kind of wondering why I don't have any more to show because it's been two weeks, but uh, I think it's just, uh, I have been working on the my Stella sweater, knitting two sleeves. I have been working on the Anna Bubble cardigan. I had to translate that twice because I spent five hours translating the pattern. Then something happened with the computer and I was closing something down and it says, do you want to save? And I was going to click save, but for some reason, I don't know if I pushed the mouse or what happened. I just clicked don't save. And you know, this instantly, I just knew shit, shit. And I was so, I was so. And my girls came in asked me and I was like, just leave me alone for five minutes. And uh, I, that was so annoying. And it was late at night, so I couldn't just, you know, usually when something like that happens, I'll just pretend it didn't happen and then just do it over right away. Like if you mess up in the knitting or something, I'll just rip it up, pretend it didn't happen and then, you know, take it from there instantly but i had to go to bed it was way too late and there's no way i can translate a pattern after midnight being tired in my head and working on two two languages so that's not possible so but i need something like that to go away immediately once i dropped my i bought a pair of ray-ban sunglasses and i i lost them at the beach and i couldn't find i went back and i couldn't find them and i drove to town and i bought myself a new pair just and pretend it didn't happen because it's just too painful. So I, I need I need that feeling to go away as soon as possible. Um, today I am wearing, I always forget to say what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing my Elna shawl, which is a shawl that I have knitted for my mom or because my mom's name is Elna. So it is actually designed for her. And uh, I have picked the colors because uh, these are some of her favorite colors. And, uh, this one that actually I kept, <laughs> but uh, but I did uh, one for my mom last summer because she turned 70. So if you want to see another color combination, you can uh, check that out on Ravelry. I think it's there. And also I'm thinking about maybe doing the Elna show on a bigger needle. This is, I think I have done this on a three. I think this is a three millimeter, uh, but I am thinking about doing this again, adding a mohair and then go up a needle size, maybe even go up to a 4.5 maybe and do this again so I can have like a bigger, warmer shawl. Um, and also it won't take as long <laughs> to knit. Um, Talking about shawls, where did I put it? I just realized something. I totally, I was sitting here editing the video and I totally forgot to mention or remind you that I have a giving giveaway going on right now. So if you want to participate in the giveaway and win a chance to win two free patterns and either a progress keeper or two progress keepers or two sets of stitch markers or one set of stitch markers and one progress keeper, whatever you prefer. Uh, check out my Instagram. 
a post that says giveaway. I think it's like four posts ago or something like that. The giveaway ends this coming Friday. I think around noon European Central Time. So um, make sure you know when that is your own time so you don't uh, miss out. But um, yeah, go check out that post <laughs> if you want to have a chance to win uh, a pattern, uh, two patterns and some stitch markers or progress keepers. So I totally forgot to say that in the podcast. I'm so happy that I just realized that now before I uploaded this thing to YouTube. So uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, just to let you know. I'll see you next Friday or actually the Friday after that. So two weeks from now. Um, yeah, let that be the final words uh, for today's podcast. I am so happy that you stopped by and uh, I will see you again in two weeks. And also I'm thinking about doing a vlog sometimes here during spring when the light is good. I think it's fun to do vlogs every now and then, especially when the seasons are changing and yeah, new stuff, new stuff can happen. And now that everything is opening up a little bit more here, um, vlogging is also more fun because I can take you guys with me. And apart from taking you to the summer house during winter when we had snow, there has been nothing to show because everything here has just been extremely boring. So yeah, I want to do a spring vlog. So I'll be working on that during March or April. Until then, guys, um, take care. I will see you soon. Let me know which one of the bags you like the most. That's just fun to know. Uh, see you. Take care and have a nice weekend. <laughs> Bye.